Hi, I'm Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is February the 6th, 2022, and I have changed my Christmas tree out for a Valentine's Day tree for the month of February. And I am going to do a reading today on the possibility that Madison Cawthorn, U.S. Representative for the 11th District of North Carolina, is the reincarnation of the Nazi Carl August Hinky. And my guides showed me this. I I didn't look through pictures to see if there were initially to see if there was, you know, a resemblance. Oh, he really resembles this person. That's not what happened. I just asked for the possibility and my guide said, yes, he was an SS officer and I said, what should I do? And, and they told me to just Google uh, famous SS officers and a list came up and then they chose that name. And then I looked at the photographs and I looked at Madison's photographs and there seems to be a similarity there in the eyes and the, the facial structure. And so I'm just putting it out to you because that is who the guide said he was in his most recent past life and you make of it what you will so i'm going to be using the sarah marchetti tarot cards to do a guided tarot reading on madison and carl and then we, we do have a oracle card for us at the end of the reading from the Whispers of Healing Oracle Cards deck. And I debated back and forth with myself whether to go into like a really detailed history of Carl Hanke and Madison Cawthorn, and I kind of decided against it. I mean, the general facts are that Carl Hanke was a Nazi. <laughs> uh, he, he, he's an, he was an interesting character, uh, insidious and uh, you know, evil character, uh, born August 24th, 1903, died June 8th, 1945. And he's born into a middle-class family. Father's a locomotive engineer. Then uh, he works uh, at a young age as a factory cell organizer after he graduates from his studies, but he's really drawn to the Nazi party. And then he gets fired from his job after spending so much time and energy at, at, at the party, um, and I guess not at work. And I don't know, there must have been other politics going on. And he becomes a protege of Goebbels, and he then follows Goebbels into the Reichstag, the German parliament, and then he proceeds to have an affair <laughs> with Goebbels' wife, Magda, and Hitler himself has to intercede because he doesn't want Magda to leave Goebbels for uh, Hanky. And I think uh, Goebbels himself was having plenty of affairs. And so that's an interesting aside, huh? Side note. He, um, I should say Hanky, eventually joins the Panzer Division. And he becomes some kind of a high up SS officer. And then the Panzer officer invades Czechoslovakia. If I'm screwing up this order, I'm sorry, but something like that. Uh, maybe he's an SS officer and then joins the Panzer division. Ernst and Iron Cross. But towards the end of the war, he is captured by the uh, che Czechoslovakian army. He has disguised, disguised himself as a private SS officer. So he's just a low rank POW, but then he devises an escape with a couple of other POWs and he ends up being beaten to death with the butt of the guns of the, uh, of the Czech guards. That's how he dies. And then you have Madison Cawthorn, so young, 
uh, one of the youngest members of Congress, if not the member, uh, the, the youngest member of Congress to serve. He also rides coattails to get into his position, interestingly enough. So, you know, Madison, he had that tragic car accident when he was 18. Apparently, they were going on spring break. He and a friend, his friend fell asleep and they crash into a concrete barrier. Uh, Madison becomes paralyzed or partially paralyzed. And he goes to Patrick Henry University, but he drops out because of his grades are terrible, like D's. And he says it's because he has this head injury from the accident. But somehow he ends up uh, interning or working for Mark Meadows. And he writes Mark Meadows coattails so that when Mark Meadows uh, drops out, uh, he ends up competing for his position, backed by Meadows and Trump, and uh, wins against his competitor in the runoff to uh, take that seat. So <laughs> there's so many um, things about Madison and just all the lies, the proven lies. I'm not, I'm not accusing him of lying. I'm just saying there's, he's even been sued and, and had to apologize for certain lies that he told. He seems to lie a lot and he has this obvious affiliation with the Nazis, you know, the, the, the white power he, he on his bucket list, as you saw, was to uh, um, visit his Führer's Eagle Castle, which he, mar he marks off his bucket list. Oh, my Führer, I have, I have actually had the honor and pleasure of visiting this, this place uh, that was special to the Führer, uh, his Führer. And then he denies anything about that. He took that off Instagram, but it was caught, you know, before he, he took it off. He accused his friends who got him in the accident, saying that he left him to die in the fiery rubble, which is not apparently true. His, his friend dragged the unconscious uh, Madison out of that wreck. He... try to get $30 million from his insurance company uh, saying that they hadn't paid the $3 million and left him in debt and he they had paid him. There was a settlement. And he seems to always go to that particular default of denial, lie. And then if he has to apologize, he apologizes. It just seems to be um, the mark of people like him, like Matt Gates is the same way, and uh, it's the default stance, and I guess that's why he was welcomed with open arms into the Trump party. And he, I, I, apparently according to Wikipedia, he doesn't believe in legislation. He believes in messaging. That's his big thing. And he's, he believes in the big lie. He, he stoked, he was one of the stokers of the insurrection, one of the supporters like Holly and Gates and the rest of them. And now there's a, a lawsuit against him to stop him from being able to run again uh, because apparently there is a law in North Carolina that if you've taken part in an insurrection, then you shouldn't be allowed to run for public office. So we'll see what happens with that. And <laughs> this uh, this reading was just interesting, kind of made me feel sick to my stomach just because, well, you know, here you have Hanky who had the moniker of being the hangman of Breslau because in one of his positions, he, uh, I think in a place called Cilicia where, where he was born, I'm not sure of the uh, geography or the geopolitics of that whole area, but he was responsible for hanging over a thousand people. He really believed in the Nazi party to the letter and died a staunch believer in Nazism and died a Nazi. Although surreptitiously, I don't know when they found out that he was actually Carl Hanke and not this low ranking SS officer that he claimed to be. 
okay. So the card that my guides gave me for both of them that represented both of them, and of course, you can all guess what card this is, right? The devil, of course. And I know this devil card pops up in every single reading about the GOP. Why is that? But this is the card the guides gave me. And, you know, this is full on evil, full on devotion to fascism, full on devotion to all means necessary and the destruction of democracy. Both of them, right? One in uh, service to Hitler and the other in service to Trump. Both fascists. Above, this is the King of Wands. So my guides say they gave this card because this is the overinflated ego. You can also look at it like, you know, it's it's reversed. So they say that you know, Hanky had a, an overinflated ego. He was a, a firm believer in the supremacy of the white race and that he could sit on this throne with all impunity to go ahead and be involved in genocide and be involved in uh, dominating the other other races and other peoples because here he has this innate superiority as a white Aryan. And then Cawthorn very much the same. And I look at the throne and I think of the wheelchair for Cawthorn, but still in that wheelchair, very powerful and very uh, domineering and aggressive not somebody who's learned any compassion or humility from his accident, but is is full on a supporter of the insurrection, continuing a supporter of the big lie to accuse uh, Biden of of not really winning this election and of Trump really being the winner. Um, also, the other thing the guide said was that Cawthorn feeling like he could be president himself. He's just even though he dropped out of college with D's <laughs> and I, I'm not I mean I'm not saying that people that doesn't have to people and they're not they don't become qualified later but he has like zero education here or very little education to be a president I mean uh, the the fact that he's actually in uh, in his 20s and and in this uh, position as a, a U.S. representative is is mind-boggling because he's just not qualified. He, you know, you, you could put Bober and Marjorie Taylor Greene behind him. They're, they're not qualified either, but they think they are. They think they can sit on this throne. This is just grandiosity. In the past is the tower, and the tower is involvement in the insurrection. He was one of the key proponents of it and he would have rallies uh, speaking to his people you know proud boys uh, white nationalists kkk whatever those people and the trumpers to bring down this government uh bring down our democracy with violence and he's part of the fallout of that because now eyes are on him what his part was. Underneath is the card of the Narcissist, Five of Swords, and continued attack, continued aggression, and, and these are people who are happy when other people suffer. It, it, it increases their ego supply and he's also going to be, always be going on the offensive attacking others using projection to obfuscate from what really is happening it's going to be somebody else's fault this this is always Cawthorn and Hanky uh, this is you know the rise of the Nazi party and the use of uh, extreme aggression the invasion of other countries uh, to you know rule the world that was the end game really for the Nazis
And the future card, well, for the future, oh yeah, I, I, I think I forgot to say Hanky's involvement here um, in, in the near past card. Well, this was him it being involved in, in, you know, the, the World War II and, uh, and as a result being a fallout from that. And this is what World War II wrought on the world, this, this chaos and devastation, loss of life, uh, human suffering. So the near future card, interesting for Hanke, I, I do believe this represents him meeting his death in, as he's in secrecy as this uh, private SS officer, he's dressed as that, or that's his identity, but he meets his end in that guise in Czechoslovakia as he tries to escape and then he's beaten to death. And for Madison, my guides say this is being caught. He's continuing to plant the swords of his own demise here. But he doesn't get it. He's kind of blind to his own fate. But, but that will be coming. He, he's caught in it. The overall card here is death. And I think I, this has come up in other readings with the same meaning, which is fighting for a dead cause. This cause is not going to be successful. You know, the Nazis, this could have represented the Nazis, really. did does re represent the Nazis and what their aims were and what what came of it. And they used genocide and they used violence and they used terrorism and uh, all kinds of things that led to their own, the, the, the death of many, many people. But at the same time, they, they came to their own deaths by it. So for Cawthorn, this is him fighting for a dead cause too. This resurgence, this neo-fascism, this neo-Nazism. But, but, but Nazism itself is predicated on death. There's nothing living here. There's nothing alive. It's, it, 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 it really sprung from, or, or part of it, the uh, beliefs sprung from the fact that they were going to bring back <laughs> the a thousand years of supremacy. And this is, that was based on an ancient belief but, but it, it can't grow because it, it's going to bring about its own end. And the outcome card is the Ten of Swords. So obviously Hanky and how he was killed at the end. And then for Cawthorn, I believe this is the end of his political career because of his involvement. And he is under investigation and he will be seeing uh, justice for that. As a result, it's over for him. Game over is really the first thought that came to mind when I saw this card for him. I urge you to go ahead and research both Carl Hinky and Matthew, Matthew, I call him, I, I'm sorry, Madison Cawthorn. I don't know why I call him Matthew, but Madison Cawthorn to see what you think. Look at the images. Please use that pause, uh, you know, capability of YouTube. <laughs> Just click on the video. It will pause and you can go back and forth and contrast and compare just out of curiosity and let me know what you think i'm not saying this is absolute i'm just saying consider the possibility if you will okay the card we have today the oracle card that the guides gave us is progress you have been in the process of great change self-growth and healing it is important to maintain a good relationship with yourself. Journaling is a tool that may help. Keep a journal, 
Write to yourself as, you're, as if you're counseling a friend. Record your goals and dreams. It may be very cathartic to have a special place to vent. Meditation is another means for healing or spiritual development. Going outside for fresh air can also be rejuvenating. If you find that you're in a rut or starting to experience a downward spiral, consider closing your eyes, taking a deep breath. Imagine you are opening your eyes for the first time and seeing the world around you from a different perspective. What is pleasurable around you? If you can see nature, what beauty can you find? Encourage yourself not to take anything for granted. What a wonderful life you have been given. If needed, make a list of your values and ethics. Writing a beliefs list helps you to live with purpose and more awareness. Your list is not set in stone and may shift and change as you develop throughout your life. Progress. Saying that, I will remind everybody that I am available for personal readings. I read on past lives. I also read on anything in this life, past, present, and future. I am a medium. I can introduce you to your guardian angels. And really, you can ask me anything you want because I just ask the guides and uh, listen to what they tell me and then tell you what I, I heard. It's that simple. <laughs> I hope all of you are well. And I hope people who lost their power when we first got the storm have gotten their power back. We've got about six or seven inches of snow where I am. It got really cold. It's it so beautiful. But it did stop things for a while, but I don't think we lost power here. But I know that places in Texas, Tennessee uh, did. So praying for you all. And I'm hoping that everybody is recovering from that and is okay. Please take care. I love you. I will be back next week. And again, I'm looking forward to your comments on this video. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.